YouTube! You know what day it is. It's your favorite doorman actor, your king here, Melvin Ward. Back at it again with another episode of Melvin Plays. Cue the intro. <laughs> <laughs> What it is, what it do, welcome back to Melvin Plays, and today I'm doing a very impromptu uh, reaction video, and I've seen this on YouTube, and I don't know if this is a, uh, a April Fool's prank, or if this is something very, very serious, but I had to get my hands on this, and it, <laughs> I'm doing a reaction video to Big Chronicles, but it's in regards to Darman. So the title of this video is called Darman Attacks Big Chronicles. What? So before I get into it, you already know the deal. If you are new to the YouTube channel, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like this video, share this video, leave comments down below. Last and certainly, definitely, least go ahead and hit the notification bell. If you guys want to catch your videos every single week, I make the videos like this every single day. Hey, yo, hey. Uh, let's hop into this video. Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Today we will be talking to Romario about the controversy between him and Darman. Hello Romario, how hey, are you doing today? I'm doing good, how about you? I'm pretty good, thanks for asking. Now, did you copy Darman and who started it first? Well, um... So for the longest while, this has been going on and people has been speculating, everybody's been asking, um, do we, did we copy Darman? And um, like you said, who started first? Well, uh, first and foremost, I wanna say that um, I don't see myself competing with Darman any at all. You know, um, Darman is doing his thing, I'm doing my thing. Okay. However, um, okay. as far as who started first, we actually started way before Darman actually came about. But what actually happened was um, YouTube. So let me break it down. Yeah, break it down, we brother. We made a, a film. And after we were done with the distributors, we put it on YouTube. And I didn't know anything about the YouTube monetization platform. But um, it got on there. And my manager at the time monetized it. And... After about uh, 27 million views, we receive a big check, like almost $100,000. So YouTube actually reached out and they let us know about the whole monetization program, how it works or whatever. Um, okay. So what we did was we spent six days and we made a, a short film, which was um, about uh, 30, I think it was about 30 minutes long. And we posted up to YouTube. And at this time we created a whole... Um, we created a whole crew just to make um, these short films for YouTube. But where we went short was we took five days to make the short film. And we spent too much. We spent a whole lot of money because we were traveling from location to location to location. So when we made the short film and put it up there, um, YouTube gave us a strike because of some of the things that was in the film. Right. And after like doing more research, we were told that... Um, we should make shorter videos that are more easier to make and produce quickly. But, um, and I think this was back in, uh, I think this, if I'm not mistaken, this was 2018. Mm -hmm. I believe it was 2018, but uh, the facts are there. You can go look it up. The name of that short film is Forceful Touch. So I think this was 2018. I think Darman started a year after that. So we actually started that YouTube thing a year before Darman started. Now, why we didn't continue was, um, I had just got the contract for my movie, um, Insincere Twins, mm -hmm. and at the time it was more important than um, the YouTube because I didn't understand everything about YouTube. So I, we left and went and did Insincere Twins, that, which took about two or three months to complete. So yeah, we didn't copy Darman. Gotcha, gotcha. So... Hold on, wait a minute. Wait. So... So far... Uh, there, so basically, there is supposedly like there is an accusation, an accusation. You know, who started first, who copied who. But I do respect the fact that of uh, Mario, he was basically saying like, look, 
basically, I don't really have nothing against him. He's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. Uh, and he was basically saying that, okay, I started, basically, I started before Darman, but I don't think he's necessarily saying that he, Darman copied him. So far, that's, that's what I'm getting. He's basically kind of saying what he did and how he started, basically. So let's get back into it. Let me ask you this. Mm -hmm. Has Darman ever tried to attack Vid Chronicles? Well, um, let's see. <laughs> I've, I've actually ignored Don't lie. that uh, question from time to time. And the fans that have been on Vid Chronicles from day one, um, they knew about this because they saw it happen and a lot of people were like, um, that is messed up. Um, we made a, a, a video, a short um, at one point, and I guess it had a similar storyline to Darman. So he did what's called a copyright strike in the YouTube universe and had the video removed. However, um, pretty much, um, you know, we reached out to YouTube. We let them know what's going on, and they told us that the next step was, you know, going to court or something. So, you know, we lawyered up and we were willing to fight it so when we did a counter uh we did a counter uh, um, action against him and pretty much he never responded so the video got reinstated so that happened and um you know a little bit what video is this shady stuff happened and you know we just try to ignore it because we're not we're not in this for the fight and the shenanigans and the controversy. Like everything that we do at Vid Chronicles, we do it from the heart. You know, it's it's about it's about the love and the passion for what we do and the message that we're spreading. You know, and it's YouTube put us in a box, mm -hmm. and that's the first thing that everybody has to understand. We're in a box. It's so limited on what we can make these that's true. episodes about. It, the least little mistake we make, we get a copyright strike or the video get flogged and you, the video doesn't get monetized, right? Mm -hmm. So with making these type of um, content, you're bound to cross path of making things that are similar because they're all life lesson and they're all like morals, you know? So yeah, that happened. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on, brother. Hold on. Uh, hmm. See, so I started with Darman back in 2020, and supposedly he started back in 2018, I believe. But what Romario's right when it comes to YouTube putting, you know, content creators like in a box as far as like there's certain things you can put out there's certain things you can't put out but as far as like the whole copyright like thing i'm not really sure exactly like which video it was um but see the the thing i want to say is that there's so many people who copy and paste like there's so many people and it's not just the stuff that darman does and big chronicle does there's people with gaming there's people with Reaction videos. I'm not the very first person who does reaction videos. You know what I mean? So I think it's more of the it's more of the sense of like It's an idea. It's a niche and I mean you like YouTube can't say oh you can't do what this person's doing You know like in the whole copyright like, you know strike I, it, it I don't know. It's like I Guess that issue would probably be like, okay, you like the idea is the same or the or the story is the same if that makes sense you know what i mean like the story is just the same uh but i mean there's so many other people out there who do the same thing that dara man and big chronicle does like y'all remember in the beginning of my youtube journey it was a whole bunch of people life lessons with louise and you guys are talking about like illumably uh soul snacks uh 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 who else? Uh, Z-Void. Uh, there's so many like people who copy and paste, so you can't like, I don't know, like, so far, like, I'm not, I'm not getting any type of like, oh, dang, Darman did that, like, oh, you know, it's, but I'll definitely say a lot more at the end of the video, so let's just get back into it.
do um, a lot of the fans are wondering, mm -hmm. do you see yourself ever working with Diamond? <laughs> um, <laughs> Darman is a YouTuber. Um, one of his primary thing when it comes to filmmaking. Um, Darman does different type of um, things from us. Like if you watch a Vid Chronica episode, you watch a Darman episode. Um, it's totally different. I don't throw yeah, shade sure. or I don't try to talk down anybody on what they're doing. I don't try to do none of that. But um, when you watch Vid Chronica episode, it's done very cinematic. Um, from coloring, editing, you know, everything. And the fans have said that from time to time. Um, and there's a the difference, scale, yeah. It's more... Um, Family friendly. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't, I don't want to say nothing about Darman. But, I mean, you know, all love and praises to Darman and what he got going on and much love to his success and whatever. We're just doing our thing, you know. I don't know what the future holds, but, um, yeah. The Vid Chronic is, yeah, we, we don't know. We're, we're doing our thing, you know something we'll see possibly. yeah okay so moving along mm -hmm. did you get into film when you started Big Chronicles well that's one of the biggest thing that people seem to think that we actually oh, started doing film when we started Big Chronicles but that is not the truth really no that is not okay. the truth um, we've been doing film for almost hmm, nearly 10 years now and um, pretty much um, Vid Chronica started right around Corona. We were actually in the middle of shooting Texas Skill City, which is this movie that's going to uh, premiere in April 30th. So Vid Chronica actually start right around the time of Corona when we couldn't make full feature film because everything was shut down and you just couldn't be out shooting a movie that's an hour and a half so but no we have several films out we've been had movies out on all different type of streaming platform um i think uh insincere twins mm -hmm. that was done in 2017 that was way before vid chronicles um one more chance of love that was done all right hold on before he even says this whole spill about one more chance of love and what whatnot he kind of snitched on himself i don't know if he heard it he said he started big chronicles when like COVID was happening. So COVID start like, as far as like, you know, COVID that was around uh, like March, 2020, as far as like, you know, it really getting serious, like March. Uh, Cause he just said it, he just said, oh, uh, Big Chronicles started. I I'm assuming his YouTube channel, Big Chronicles started. 2020 but Darman started 2018 so he probably put out the film he probably put out a film in 2017 but Darman started doing his storytelling in 2018 you know what I mean so and then you can I mean if y'all want y'all can actually go to both pages if you want and go to like their very first upload It'll, you know, it there's like it should be like a little thing, very first upload, and you'll see, you know, when what year they they first came out, and then that'll basically tell you who came out. But I don't even think this is like, I don't know, I don't think this is good. I don't think this is, it's good clickbait. Darman attacking, uh, Big Chronicles. That's you know, just trying to get some views, and I, I kind of get what he's trying to do. So let's just get back into it in 2016 or something like that wow. you know um so we've yeah we've had movies and right now insincere twins is on every streaming platform um we just recently uploaded um one more chance that love to youtube and stuff after it finished streaming on it was on congo tv the on channel and all of those networks wow. so no, we've been doing movies and we've continued doing movies. So what we do right now is we have a separate team that manage Vid Chronicles while we um, continuously work with Romario Face of Production, which is the mother company for everything. So no, we've been doing movies and I've been acting way before there was a Vid Chronicles or a thought of a Vid Chronicles. Awesome, awesome. So moving along, mm -hmm. um, can you please tell us about your movie premiere that's coming up? Well, Texas Skill City, like I said, was shot during the time right right around when covid was just getting big mm -hmm. and um 
we had to put the whole production on hold because there was nothing to do All right. at that time. Like every Okay, so I honestly think this was just like a little spill of a little bit about Darman, but as you guys can pay attention to see, it's a lot more about his film. The stuff that he's doing, he's promoting. Come on, man. Like, this is promotion one on one, man. Like, it's to kind of get you in, but I'm about to promote what I'm what I'm doing. Like, they got the shirts on. Come on. They got the shirts on. And he was just saying, like, oh, you know, uh, Texas Kill City, you know, comes out, you know, April 30th. They're promoting their film. It's 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 genius. I mean, in some ways, brother, you're clout chasing. I mean, it's like and the thing is, I ain't got nothing against uh, Mar uh, Romario. Like, hey, if your team is watching this, look, I have nothing against y'all, you know what I mean? Like, I don't have nothing against Dar, man. I don't have nothing against nobody. Like, I'm just a very cool cat. You know, like, look, if you getting your money, if you, you know, are doing what you're doing, and if it's working, and if you, you know, doing your thing and providing for your family, friends, whatever, giving people opportunities, that's what's up. At the end of the day, that's what's up. You know what I mean? You hustling, you grinding, you know what I mean? Like. You're making something of yourself. Uh, that's what I think, and I honestly feel, you know, this is just a promotion. This is this is this is definitely a promotion. But let's just see if I could kind of like, you know, skip ahead and like see. Let me just skip ahead and see. Like uh, cash up giveaway, hundred dollar giveaways, show. iPhone, uh, PlayStation, uh, a Galaxy TV, whatever is trending. Well, that would be the grand finale. So every Sunday, uh, Saturday and Sunday mm -hmm. is when we'll have that game show. So that's in the future and that will start in a few months. All so right. Really, really, really so long story short, there is something, some quote unquote beef between those two, which I don't think there was like a real beef. I, I don't think maybe it was. I, I don't know, you know, but at the end of the day this is this is this is what i got this is what i got at the end of the day he's promoting this stuff he's 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 promoting what he's doing you know what i mean like that's 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 just a way of you know to get yourself out there man you know when you when you when you see like a big dog you know when you see one of like you know someone who's really making it work who's also building an empire an empire you clout chase you know what i mean like you know it's kind of like oh uh you use someone's name to, you know, to get views and to get what you need to get. That's just my honest opinion. That's definitely my honest opinion about that. I mean, what else do you want me to say? And I kind of had a feeling, I was like, Dark Man attacking Big Chronicles, like, in what way? You know what I mean? Like, social media would have definitely, like, you know, and then the whole thing about well, who who started first and da da da. It's copy and paste. You know what I mean? And it's like if you have an opportunity to do something and if somebody's way more successful and knows what to do and and it's way more successful, you're like, dang, dang, they're really making it big, man. How can I kind of do that too? I'm gonna do some stuff too. But I mean, I would definitely say look at their first their very first video and see you know the year it came out and then you'll definitely you know get to see i think big chronicles movie or whatever came out 2017 the youtube stuff it came out 20 uh 19. barman's video came out may 31st 2018 and big chronicles december 29th 2019. there you have it you know what I mean? This is going to be a pretty long video, but hey, it is what it is. But uh, that's it today for this episode of Melvin Plays. Uh, Darman attacking Big Chronicles, even though it was basically a promotion of his stuff. Basically, Big, Big Chronicles was promoting uh, his 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 brand. That's that's what you do. You you go for the top dog and you use their name. You know, they kind of get people like, oh, wait, 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 what's happening? And then, oh, he has a film out that's coming. You know, he has a film that's coming out, like, this month. Pretty clever. But, uh, yeah, that's it today for this episode of Melvin Plays. I hope you enjoyed it just like I did it. Interesting, interesting. You got me. Clickbait. Good, good clickbait. Uh, but, yeah, if you're new to this YouTube channel, 
welcome. Go ahead, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like this video, share this video, leave comments down below. Last one, definitely at least go ahead and hit the notification bell. If you guys want to keep videos every week, I mean, it looks like this every day. Hey, yo, hey. It's your favorite Darman actor, Yakin Kim Melvin Ward, signing off. And I'm